Hi, my name is Roger Ahuja, and I'm going to take a couple of moments here and go over some basic things about DNS. First of all, um, DNS is basically a way of telling your computer where a web address is. So, for example, um, if we go to www.yahoo.com, um, your computer doesn't know where yahoo.com is, and the DNS servers will tell uh, your computer where uh, yahoo.com is and I'll show you what I mean by that we're gonna pull up a command prompt here and if you type in nslookup space www.yahoo.com this tells you what your DNS server is and the results that you got back from that DNS server of where yahoo.com is um, if we do an ipconfig slash all most home users are going to find that their default gateway right here is the same as their DNS server right here. Um, this basically is because the DNS is usually automatic. Now if for any reason you need to change your DNS server um, you can go into the network and sharing center and change your adapter settings and right click on the active adapter and go to properties and then go to Internet Protocol version 4 and then go to properties again and then you can go in here and change your as you can see it's set to obtain automatically you can change it here to a different DNS 8.8.8.8 um, .8 is um, Google's public DNS and I'm going to put it as an alternate 4.2.2.2 which I believe is Verizon and uh, I'm going to close this and then if we do uh, a command prompt again and we do an NS lookup of www.yahoo.com it's going to get the results from Google's DNS because that's the first one. If it couldn't reach Google's DNS then it would have gone to Verizon's. And that's it.